welcome to the EMBN show. Now bear with me, I know it doesn't look like the normal EMBN show, but here I am in Santa Cruz. I'm on my way to see a classic, um, an absolute mega festival, and we are gonna be bringing you all of the EMBN tech from that event over the next few days. But I'm gonna do the show right from here, and I'm also gonna take you into the heart of e-biking in this very town, Santa Cruz Bicycles, no less to announce a brand new e-bike discipline. <laughs> you heard it here first. But before we do that, let's take a look at some news. And it starts with this awesome bit of riding from Corey Martinez. Now you may know that name if you're one of those old school riders out there from BMXing. Corey Martinez is converted. He's moved over, he's riding a Levo SL here making some amazing lines, especially this tree ride, it's absolutely incredible. So another rider moving over onto an e-bike, seeing the fun in those bikes and enjoying them and making them look great. Someone who's also doing that, but again, because he keeps doing it, is Win Masters. Yeah. Look at this on his GT, he's in Portugal. This climb is insane. And this angle, I love this angle. You can see how, look how steep it is. It really shows the power of an e-bike and what it can make possible that previously wasn't. So I really love seeing that. So there's a bit of riding news, um, but what about some tech news? Well, how about this brand new motor from Bafang? Now, previously they had the M500, but this is the brand new M510. This is lighter, faster, stronger, so they say. It's got 95 newton meters of torque, which is a lot. It's 500 grams lighter. Um, it's got a different sealing system, so it's more waterproof. Um, and it's got a hardwire connection for your lights to make that link up much easier. So this is the brand new Bafang motor that is all improved. So it's nice to see that stuff coming from them. Right, now I promised you the announcement of a brand new e-bike discipline. And to do it, I'm gonna to head to Santa Cruz Bicycles itself to announce my idea to someone who's promoting the sport through their fantastic e-bikes, Santa Cruz Bikes. Let's see it. Ta-da, Santa Cruz Bikes. Where else, of course? I'm here with Garen. Garen, thanks for your time, man. I know you're just getting a party ready. Oh, yeah. It's all about to kick off, because Sea Otter is happening, and this is probably quieter than it would normally be, right? Because uh, This is dead. It's 4 o'clock. Uh, yeah. Swing shift just left. Normally, this place is uh, not a place you can even stand. Yeah, is... so it's all happening. Everyone's heading out to Sea Otter, but while I've got the chance, I wanted to talk to you about Santa Cruz and e-bikes, okay? Because I would say you were slightly later to the game than everyone else. Yeah. Is that fair? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and so how has e-bikes evolved in, in the business for you guys? Uh, quickly. Uh, we, we, we made that first Heckler, and which was a, a great success for us, and we quickly yeah. figured out what we wanted, uh, what, what more we wanted out of e-bikes. And as we came out with the Bullet, which is a slacker, steeper, more aggressive bike, uh, made a new Heckler, bigger battery, slacker, mullet setup, uh, we've definitely figured out um, what we want and where we want to go with it. It's a... Uh, Let's just say it's a huge part of our plan going yeah, forward, yeah. and that we all are. We, while we have our a big, big staff of curmudgeons here, uh, we don't have any e-bike haters. It's right. just too fun. It's too yeah. fun to ignore. It's too much fun. Yeah. And so if you've got like a new bike, you could show me now, right? Like no. <laughs> it was that worth, I don't have. It was worth yeah. a try, man. Wasn't it? it was worth a try. But that sounds exciting. Do you think there would ever be a Ju an e-bike, a Juliana e-bike? We've looked at it and. Uh, we wouldn't rule it out, not at all. Oh. Yeah, for sure. So that was, was that an exclusive? Can I call that an exclusive? Yeah, you heard it here. <laughs> I'm desperate for an exclusive <laughs> this week, man. Um, so I've got, I've got some um, thoughts about e-bikes because one of your greatest exponents of e-bikes is, is Danny McCaskill, yep. right? He cannot shut up about his e-bike. I mean, yeah. when I, I spoke to him the other day, e-bike, e-bike, it was all his talk about Literally, e yeah. You can't do it. And, and then I'm talking uh, the other day to uh, the world, current World Trials Champion, Jack Carvey. Oh, yeah. Okay. Amazing rider. You've got a trials background yourself. We're, we're old school trials riders. Yeah. I'm Martin's biggest fan. And I'm his. It's so <laughs> cool, right? We both used to read the same magazine. But moving on, yeah. right? So I was talking to Jack. All he talked about was his e-bike. Steve Jones, main man, EMBN. Mm -hmm. Couldn't be here this week. Shame, because he's a good drinking buddy. 
he's always going on about trials, so I thought this has got to end, right? So I'm going to pitch an idea to you. Let's have it. And I'm pitching it to Santa Cruz right now. This is this is my big idea. E-bike trials. Well, yeah, I thought that's where it might be going. I mean, yeah, but I think right, we've got a great opportunity because we could create trials that's not as complicated as actual trials. Simple rules, almost graded sections. Oh. So people could play it like a game. When you're out riding, let's have a game of e-bike trials. So you, you're not necessarily counting points, you're just getting through stages you're talking, of a section. You're talking a, organ, a sanctioning body organizing events, yes. not, not even hardware. You're talking yes, about... Yes, and, and I'm pitching for big time sponsorship from Santa Cruz. <laughs> no, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not. But it's a good idea, right? It's, it's a, a great idea. idea. Well, what's happening, I think everywhere I go riding on e-bikes with buddies, that's yeah. happening. That's what we it's, do. We yeah. go out and start, what can this thing do? Yeah. They're so capable, they're so much fun, yeah. and you, you just want to test it all the time. Mm -hmm. Can so I, I climb that hill? Can, can I can you climb that hill? So yeah. with e with C e Otter, C Otter coming, I thought there's going to be lots of important people there, like yourself, right? I think by the end of C Otter, e-bike trials, it, we could have a federation and everything. We could bring trials back to the Sea Otter in the form of e-bike yes. trials. We can finally sneak it in there. It's happening next year. All right, let's do it. Man, that's great. Thank you for your time. <laughs> I'm going to let you get on with your party. Yeah, sounds good. But I can't wait to see that new e-bike. You heard it here first. You didn't. You didn't. Hear Don't it. hold your breath. <laughs> right, coming up on the channel this week, it's very simple. We are focusing on Sea Otter and everything it has got to offer in terms of e-bikes. Doddy is going to be heading around the pits there and finding everything he can in terms of new e-bikes and new e-bikes components. I'm going to be looking and seeing if I can find some stuff I like too and of course making e-bike trials a real thing. Right, let me just take a moment for a little bit of self-promotion for EMBN. You know, one of the things that really helps us make the videos is you guys supporting us through the merch. So head over to the, the store and see if you can pick yourself up something you like. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to uh, get yourself a nice EMBN t-shirt or a jacket or anything that takes your fancy. It helps us make the videos. Um, and also, something else I really want to tell you about that I think is going to be amazing is the Global Bike Festival. June 16th to the 19th, we're all going to be out there. The EMBN guys, the GMBN guys, all of the guys from GCN. We're going to have an amazing time in Salbach, Austria. Uh, but you've got to get yourself a ticket and head over there with us. Come and hang out. There's going to be the Dirt Shed Show live. Uh, we're going to be riding e-bikes, of course. And we're going to be hanging out with the roadie guys, too, which should be fun. Could be some punch-ups. Who knows? But get yourself a ticket to the Global Bike Festival if you can. Time to take a look at what you guys have been saying about the videos this week. Um, and looking at the comments from our videos, way to make e-bikes faster. Um, Chester Copperpot, he says, don't buy a useless EU restricted bike, buy a Bafang Ultra Mid-Drive with a throttle and enjoy riding at last. It's an option, I guess it's an option. Um, Igor, he says, obsession to shave seconds on a bike ride was always fun to me, but who really cares? I guess that's true, eh? Keep it fun, it doesn't really matter the time side of things, does it? Nomad left this comment and I had to, I had to ask Doddy and Anna to explain it to me, but here it goes, right? He's changed his Stance E2 over to a 12 speed with an XT rhythm cassette, um, 10 by 45, um, and the bike has good top end and low end, but he's mostly on that 10 tooth when he's doing his downhill. Thank you for explaining that, guys, it helps. I love to see a send of the week. Uh, you know what, these are the moments where you've just done a bit of riding and you've absolutely nailed it and you're chuffed with it and Kevin has done that for us this week. He's out in his Cube Stereo in Perth, Scotland and he's absolutely nailing this tabletop. It looks like the perfect jump to perfect your skills. Um, so if you're trying to learn to jump, try and find a little spot like Kevin has and maybe you can get that jump in happening on your e-bike. Are you guys getting out and about? Well, let's take a look. Uh, first up is this bit of rocky riding from Christine on the Reverse Brazilian. Uh, that's a great name for a rocky outcrop. It's, tell you what, that's not hard uh, to get wrong. You could get in some serious trouble on that. 
Nice bit of riding, well done Christine. Next up, dropping in from above the clouds is Don, not the Don from GMBN, but Don, and that is an amazing location. Look at that. God, oh, that's giving me some uh, inspiration. Are you guys out there getting out and about on your bike? If you are, then I tell you what, it'd be awesome if you gave us uh, a look at those videos by uploading it to the EMBN uploader and you could be on the show next week and it goes the same for showing us your sends of the week or maybe your bike vault pictures which we're going to take a look at next. Okay, it's the bike vault. Here we go. First one from Jason and he's specialised at Worm's Head. That is nice. I like that. It's a nice photo drive side it's nice it's nice it's not worth a rustle of the crisps but it is nice next up we have got Jim's Giant uh, in North Carolina that is a beautiful shot man that is a really lovely shot that is super nice next up we've got James's Orbea Ooh, it's good it's definitely, a, if the photo was different, it could be a super nice, but it's not drive side. So I think Rich Payne would get really annoyed if I give you a super nice for that. Oh, Dean's Orbea, another Orbea. Sort of into Orbeas at the moment. Sunny day in Golfy, super nice. Like it a lot. Next up, it is Specialized from Chris. It's his local spin first ride of the year. Nice, 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 it's nice. Next up, enjoying a lovely, nice evening ride out. It is Martin on his Cannondale. Martin on a Cannondale, could it be any more right? It's a Cannondale, it's super nice, obviously. And we've got a cube now from Ray in Pentlands. That's a lovely looking spot. Lovely looking spot, it's nice, it's a nice bike like it oh, i feel like i should give it more jack more no no it's nice it's nice um and next up we have got a this is marcus's marin i couldn't see what it was then for a minute it's a marin i like that a lot and it's got a trail dog in it it's the power hour ride with the trail dog marcus you get super nice these crisps are just crumbs at this point and now we've got a cube from andre Oh, I like that one. Right, I've got to pick. I'm going to give that a nice, but now I've got to pick my favourite of the week because apparently that's what they do on EMBN. So I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with that giant at the start from Jim in North Carolina. That is bike of the week. There you go, bike vault. Have you got a nice bike or is it super nice? Well, there's only one way to find out. Send it in to the EMBN uploader and you could be on the show next week getting a rattle from the crisps. Who knows? Get involved in the show. It's a nice way to join the club. Um, well, that's it from me in Santa Cruz for now. Remember, there's lots of action coming from Sea Otter in the next few episodes coming out on EMBN. So make sure you don't miss all the latest EMBN tech coming hot from Sea Otter. Uh, and until then, I'll say goodbye. <laughs>